Yahuwah, I glorify your name and I lift your name up to the heavens. I come before your throne today in prayer and petition to graciously ask for assistance in these trying times. In the name of Yahusha HaMashiach and by the power of the Ruach HaKadosh in me, I pray for the removal of all doubt, negativity, or uncertainty from myself and from those who this prayer will reach so that we will all be praying from a place of confidence and certainty, totally convinced of your infinite capabilities. I ask that you remove anything that might be hindering us from praying from the spirit of victory that you have given us by the blood of the Lamb. I cover all of us and our environments in the blood of Yahusha HaMashiach, and I thank you for this priceless gift of salvation that you have given us. I thank you and I praise you in advance for clearing up all that is hindering us, Abba. I pray that you bring anything of concern to the forefront of our minds so that we can know what to avoid or what to remove from our being and our lives so that we can work towards overcoming and resolving any of these issues or inconsistencies. I thank you and praise you in advance. Today, I want to pray for all of us who are going through fear. This world and this life is very frightening, Abba. It tends to steal our attention because we experience this world through our senses and they get bombarded with all kinds of fear narratives. And any time we focus on this world and the grueling details of this life and where this world is heading, it can quickly steal our attention and place us in a state of fear, even hopelessness at times. I pray that you flood us right now with your living water. And I pray that you bless us by just lifting us up with your spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh, the comforter that we so desperately need to keep us in peace and the peace that surpasses all understanding from Yahusha HaMashiach. I thank you, Abba, and I just pray that any time we enter into fear, that you gently yet powerfully remind us through your spirit that you have already overcome the world. It's not an easy journey, but I suppose it was never meant to be. I pray that you increase our faith and make it stronger than ever, Abba. We need all the assistance we can get. This world seems to only get more and more frightening. Yet I choose today to reject the fear and embrace your promises and your victory. I pray this for all under the sound of my voice and all who it will benefit and all who are going through fear, Abba. And I graciously ask that you spread the effects of this prayer like the spreading of seeds across the earth and water these seeds with your living water. I thank you and praise you in advance. By the authority of Yahusha HaMashiach and by the power of the Ruach HaKadosh in me, I command that all fear that is trying to take root in our minds, hearts, and spirits, I command that it all be evacuated and evicted as the peace replace it and bring us into a state of clarity. Pray that all of your promises be recognized by every one of the cells in our body and that we enter into a true state of peace that surpasses all understanding. I thank you for the comforter. It really keeps us going, Abba. I pray that you bless us all with sight that allows us to see beyond the smoke and mirrors of any and all fear narratives. I pray that you keep us in this state as often as you will. I pray that this state become a default in our lives. And I pray that you remind us all of what you have promised us any time the enemy creeps into our minds and fills us with lies. And please remind us of our testimony that we so quickly can forget in the thick of a storm. I thank you, Abba. I pray that you fill in all the blanks of the unknowns for us as to personalize this prayer for everyone who this prayer is for or its effect. Whoever this prayer is reaching, Abba, please customize and personalize it for us all. By the authority of Yahusha HaMashiach and by the power of the Ruach HaKadosh in me, I decree and declare that we enter into a state of clarity, a peace that overcomes all the fears, and I command that all pain that is caused by these fears be removed from our minds and hearts, entering into your truth, Abba, rather than catering to Satan's lies. I thank you and I praise you in advance, Abba. Thank you for filling us with your spirit and pushing out all of the false evidence that appears real to our senses. We know that Satan has to invade our senses with this fear to trick us into taking off the belt of truth. And sadly, he is rather good at it. He is good at what he does and has been practicing and preparing to deal with us in this era for a very long time. So I just pray that the peace that you reveal to us teach us how to see past all the trickery that Satan uses. I pray that we learn to laugh at him like you do and I pray that we all learn how to enter into the state of victory, the spirit of victory that you have already given us from the battle that is already won, from the inseparable, inescapable victory that you have already achieved, Abba. Yahuwah has already won. Realize it.
speak it out loud and enter into the victory with him, beloved. Take a moment to enjoy his spirit within you. The Ruach HaKadosh, the Comforter, it's something that Satan can never take away from you. In the name of Yahusha HaMashiach, I seal this prayer across the earth and across the timeline, past, present, and future. Take a moment to tell Yahuwah that you are receptive and that you are ready to receive his spirit, that you are ready and that you are open for it, and he will fill you with it. Thank him and praise him in advance and just open yourself up to him. He will flood you with his living water. But remember, without faith, it is impossible to please him. You have to have faith. Do not limit him. He is the king of the universe. Amen. So be it. I'm going to end this prayer with Psalm 2. The reign of Yahuwah's anointed, the triumphant Messiah. Why do nations rage and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against Yahuwah and against his anointed ones. Let us break their chains and cast away their cords. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. Yahuwah taunts them. Then he rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his fury. I have installed my king on Zion upon my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree spoken to me by Yahuwah. You are my son. Today I've become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with an iron scepter. You will scatter them like pottery. Therefore be wise, O kings, be admonished, O judges of the earth. Serve Yahuwah with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the sun, lest he be angry and you perish in your rebellion when his wrath ignites in an instant. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. May you all be blessed. Endure until the end. Yeah.